I get stressed out about the environment. And the turtles that cross the road. I did yeah. say the turtles. Oh, yes. yes. I did. Yeah. See, you like that kind we of stuff. We were on the way to Washington, and I saw, well, I read it. I was, on, I was at breakfast with a friend of mine, and she was telling me, she was like, yeah, my mom had this article about how uh, the turtles need you. And so she, I guess she went out and she saw a turtle and she helped it across the road. And I always get really sad if I see a turtle get smashed. I'm like, oh no, like, <laughs> didn't make it. And any animal, but especially a turtle, because yeah. they just have no chance. They're so slow. So um, we were on the way to go to Washington to see my mom's parents, my grandparents. And I was coming down Web, right? Web? I think it's Web. Uh, all the way from like 50th letter. It was way up north, dropping mm-hmm. my dog off. And I see this turtle like going across the road trying to get across. And it's like four lanes plus a turn lane. People are going 55. And I had like, I just see it. I just slam on my brakes. And I get out of my car. I probably ran 50 yards, <laughs> just like full sprint with cars. <laughs> and this other lady in like the, in the lane that's going my way, like this me and another lady, she stops her car. And she sees what's going on. And I run the turtle all the way across the road to the other side, put him way in the grass. And the lady goes, thank you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know. I was really proud of myself. Yeah. That. I don't know why, but I just, I don't know. Big animal lover, my whole family, big animal lover. Yeah. Um, yeah, talking, speaking of the turtles. Yeah, that's been a public service announcement from Kellen Marshall to save the turtles. And by using not plastic straws. Too. Yeah, the gotta straw save thing the I feel like is more on uh, like <laughs> companies and restaurants. Like that's yeah. Because like when we were in the Pacific Northwest in Washington, because of my grandparents, everywhere is like paper straws. Like it's great. Like yeah, everyone's all the. Uh, there's this place called Taco Time. My mom loves. It's like it's kind of like Taco Bell, but it's way better. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have all of their trash is compostable. Wow. So instead of it being trash, it's compostable anyway. I don't yeah. want to sit there and get on my yeah. save the world soapbox. <laughs> but it stresses job. me out. Like I see it, I see all these videos like it's gonna be twelve years until it's irreversible and I'm just like, oh no. Yeah. Got a baby step, so that's all it is. Yeah, that's for why everyone you, that's to why do baby steps. Yeah. Love day. that. Use a reusable water bottle. Yeah. This is a message just for you. <laughs> if you're offended by it, you're the problem. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that was perfect. Um <laughs> Yeah, you can put that at the end. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. So now moving on to the Wichita State community. They have been with <clears throat> you almost your whole life, it seems like. Mm-hmm. So how is that support to have an entire city be behind you and your family? To be honest, I think it's something that I can't appreciate enough right now. I, mm-hmm. I try to I try to look at the big picture and see how cool it is. Um And I love Wichita and how great um, all the Shocker fans are. Um, It's amazing, you know, to me. I mean, it's one thing for my dad, like me, like at least once a week, I'll be out in public. People are like, hey, Kellen, you're doing a great job. I'm like, dude, what am I doing? Like, thank you. (laughs) Like, thanks. Uh Like, like, I don't feel like I'm, you know, I'm deserving of like that credit or anything. But um, I think one day when I move away, then I will really see wow this is amazing yeah and i think um just realizing that now i shows that i already know it yeah but it's not until i'm away from it that i'll really it's going to hit me i'll be like whoa it's crazy how much love the city of wichita has for the shockers and for our family yeah i love that for sure so we all know that you love basketball but what's something else that you're very passionate about that not a lot of people might not know about you well, as far as sports go, I'm, I've always, uh, not always, I, since maybe um, high school, I started playing golf. I wish I'd started earlier. My dad always says, I wish you would have played earlier. Um, I could have been pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, like, good enough to play in college. But anyway, uh, I've always liked golf. Um, I'm a big Tiger fan. And then the last uh, five or six years, um, I've gotten really into it. I've worked as a caddy at Flint Hills National, which is down in Andover. Um, so they train me to be a caddy. Uh, I play out there too. And through there, I've met a lot of cool people, um, golfers that you know are now playing professionally. Um, and then uh, from all of those connections, I've gotten to caddy 
uh, the last five years in the Wichita Open, which is part of the web.com tour, which is now newly renamed the Corn Ferry Tour, which sounds ridiculous, but <laughs> they're embracing it. So I have to embrace it as a <laughs> caddy on the Corn Ferry Tour for once a year. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I've caddied out there for the last five years, and that's been something that's really been um, awesome for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's a treat for me every year. As heavy as the bag is, um, it's just so cool to see those guys, mm -hmm. um, watch how they play, watch how good they are, just to appreciate, wow, this is just a small, small level, just barely below the PGA. Um, this is how good they are here, yeah. you know? And so many of those guys that I've either caddied for or have met um, in practice rounds or in tournament play, you know, because you're obviously paired up with other golfers, have gone to the big tour and uh, have had a lot of success. So that's been something that's been really um, just awesome for me. It's just a huge bonus to my life yeah. just to get to have the Wichita Open here. Um, we're really lucky. And it's, it's great that the community of Wichita supports it so well. Um, I had a guy stay at my house uh, last week, him and his caddy, and he made the cut, played well. I was asking him, um, you know, how is this tournament as far as support? It's always, people will say it's top five. He goes, no, it's the best one. He said it's wow. no, no doubt the best one, um, especially pre-playoffs, because they have the playoffs now, just like the FedEx Cup has their four playoff events. They have three on the Corn Ferry Tour. Um, so he said it's, it's awesome. So the, the love affair between Wichita and any sports yeah. um, that happens, whether it be soccer, basketball, uh, Wichita Open, um, I think the AAA team is going to do amazing. Yeah. And I also think, uh, I mean, you see, even this is not really, it's not much of a sport, but chicken and pickle yeah. is crazy. I find myself there like twice a week. I'm just like, how do I so keep coming here? Yeah. But everyone loves it. It's like, what did we do before all this was available? Yeah. We must have just sat in our yards. Yeah, bit, exactly. Anyway, that's the, the golf aspect of my life is something that's way different from basketball. And that's something that the golfers comment on. They're like, dude you have this huge range of culture that you go through um, even in one day. Because yeah. like I started the day caddying and I end the day at practice or vice versa. And it's just, it's this wide range of culture, but it's all within sports, which that's is awesome. something that's, um, I think I'm very fortunate to be able to experience all of that yeah. together. Yeah, I love that. While we're on the subject of things that people don't know about you, I've started this little section of the show for the viewers to learn more about the guests. Okay. And I actually got this idea from the event with Landry Shamit and your dad okay. because they did, there's really in-depth questions that your dad had to ask Landry and then he's like, I'm gonna do some quick rapid fire ones. And so I'm like, I love that. Like rapid fire, first thing that pops into your head, very wow. candid. Okay. And you can elaborate on your answers, but just right. do the first thing that pops into Maybe your head. Elaborating, I can't imagine. I, I oh, never. I, yeah. So right, we're hear. we're gonna get started. Favorite ice cream flavor? Um, chocolate, but specifically chocolate fudge at Baskin Robbins, or um, in the store I like uh, it's Hagen Dazs chocolate chocolate chip. It's really really good. But yeah, don't come with me with any vanilla strawberry I don't want any of that stuff <laughs> chocolate that's funny because um, I've had answers before that's like vanilla just vanilla like, like my best friend he's like I just like simple vanilla shake and I'm like you are lame <laughs> okay so if you could have any superpower in the world what would you choose okay this is a tough one um, invisibility would be cool because you could go anywhere you could get on flights anywhere um, I'd probably like to be able to teleport. Teleport. Either so just that or locations? Travel. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Like but location or time? If I could time. do both, then that would be a no brainer. Um, yeah. Flying would be awesome. Uh, people always say telekinesis, like being able to move things with your mind. But, like, I don't know. That's, that's cool, I guess. But I think it'd be cool yeah. to be able to just go anywhere, anytime. Um, especially, like, if we're, I, we travel out with the team, like, when we were in Hawaii, I'm just like, oh. This red eye is going to be brutal. I wish <laughs> I could just snap my fingers and be home. And that's yeah. what I would love to do. 
one of the main things I would do if I could teleport. Yeah. Slash time travel. That's a good one. Okay, I think you've already answered this, but favorite athlete of all time? Favorite athlete of all time. It's, I'm going to say because I didn't get to watch MJ because I was just too little. I love him, but I never got to watch him. Yeah. My mom says I watched the 97 and 98 finals just like as a little guy, just like kind of <laughs> sitting there with her, you know, watching the finals. So I'm sure I was zoned in, but I'm going to say uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. my favorite yep. athlete of all time. That's and what I And watching him guessed. win the Masters was amazing. Yeah. This year was, it was I was. Did you get there. emotional? Oh, I was in a hotel room <laughs> by myself, just like, just sobbing. Just, oh. I, I was so happy. I was just like, this is amazing. So yeah. That was, um, that's to me the coolest sports moment I've ever seen mm-hmm. yeah. in my life. Yeah, that was amazing. Championship. That was a very good answer. It makes me like, oh, it's so cute. A lot of grown men cried that day. I'm sure. I'm I saw very this thing sure on of that. Instagram of like all these guys sitting in videos of like, <laughs> man, it's been like an hour. Can't stop crying. <laughs> and that's really that's true. Like if you grew up watching Tiger, like it, yeah. it was you were you were in the struggle with him. Yeah. Because everyone wanted him to win again so bad. Exactly. And then he won the tour championship, which was also cool. I don't. I think I was tearing up for that, because I don't know if you've seen it, but like the scene all of the fans were right behind him yeah they let the fans come right behind him and it was amazing obviously the Augusta they don't do that but that was when he hugged his son after the after he made every one I lost it yeah that's a great answer so moving on what is your favorite or go-to song like in the car like you just cannot not sing it <clears throat> wow there's a lot I know this is like one of the first questions well this is really tough for me because I love to sing. I think I'm pretty good, even though people are like, are you going to sing? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> but I, I love to sing in the car. Um, mm-hmm. I love listening to all kinds of music. Um, wow, the go-to song. If you have to do karaoke, what would you choose? If I had to do karaoke, I saw that this like two days ago. Um, <laughs> it would definitely change. I would probably do something kind of lower, like Johnny Cash maybe. Really? Just because I know I wouldn't... I wouldn't have to really reach up in my voice to like sing that. Um, I could do maybe. It'd be like lame though because I wouldn't. I wouldn't have to sing very high. I'd just be like, oh, okay, cool man. Like, ring of fire. Wow. Um, I don't know. But I. I if you need, if you ever want to hear some good music, just go to my Instagram. Go to my highlights. I got tons of songs that I put us. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. I can't answer that. It's, it's yeah. too hard of a question. Exactly, and if you post them, then we'll check them out for sure. So this one kind of, you halfway answered, but do you have any hidden talents or hobbies that people don't know about? Um, hidden talent, I picked up like a year and a half ago. One of my friends did a magic trick. Oh, and no. And he showed <laughs> us on a video. And I'm sitting there, and I'm so mad. I'm watching it over and over, and I've always liked magic. And I was like, I can't believe somebody had to do it. So... I learned how to do it, and then I picked up. Some, I learned how to do some other tricks, and now I'm like a amateur magician. Wow! And I can do a few tricks, and you know, just here and there at a gathering or something. You know, I do them to recruits. Yeah. Um, especially, you ask Tyson ATN if you ever see him. I uh, say, hey, is Kellen is Kellen, can Kellen do magic? And guy will just stop, never stop talking. I mean, wow. I, I had him like. He, we were at this nice place for dinner on his visit, and he, when I showed where this card was, he ran out. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't believe it. Really? And then he came back. I mean, he just, it freaks him out. So that's, that's a little hidden talent. Yeah. Like, you and Isaiah need to join forces, because he loves magic, too. Pooh Bear? Yes. I'd be a magician. The world's first 6'10 magician. He actually gave so. me a deck of cards. Um, now that I think about it, last yeah. year he gave me some, some cards for Pinochle. Hmm. I'm like, this is cool, I guess, because it's like, it's got nine through ace, and it's got two of every single one. So two ace of spades, two ten of hearts, all of them. So I've, I'm like, okay, cool, thanks, man, appreciate it. I'll do some magic with that. Yeah, you need to it ask freaks him. people out. Yeah, they're like, they're like, whoa, why is there no little cards? Yeah, um, he likes the type of magic that's kind of like mentalism. 
to like reading people's minds, you need to join forces with him. You guys can have your own sideshow. That would be a sideshow indeed. That's a great <laughs> word for it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, two more. Best okay. TV show or TV series? Uh, okay. Um, it was Supernatural, but they've gone on a little too long. And then on the other side of the spectrum, How I Met Your Mother is like, it's more like, you know, just easy watching sitcom yeah kind of, not sitcom um, those are my two favorites also got to mention Seinfeld um, that's also and, and Spongebob those are two you know those are the, those are the four <laughs> yeah. on my Mount Rushmore of TV shows I like that Mount Rushmore TV shows see that's why like I need to have you around more often because you give me like nice little like phrases that I would never think to <laughs> use like what's your Mount Rushmore of I TV just, shows I just that came out of nowhere I don't know why I said that but I just I love cool that I said okay Okay, and last question. This is one of my favorite ones because I get the weirdest answers, and I asked a lot of the new players last year this on okay. Media Day, but if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Oh, you mean when you heard, I like dogs, I love dogs, <laughs> I like playing with dogs. Yes, my meme that I made of that. I like dogs, I love dogs, I like playing with dogs. I like dogs, I love dogs, <laughs> I like playing with dogs. I like dogs, I like dogs. I, I like dogs. dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love, I love dogs. dogs. I like playing with dogs. I like playing with dogs. I like playing with dogs. Yes. That thing went crazy. I know. And he was just like so, it's so like natural. Like that's how Marcus is. He's just yeah. Like, I like dogs. I like dogs. I like playing with dogs. <laughs> yes. It's so funny. Oh, I watched, I see that randomly like retweeted on some like, so on a day, like what are your interests like? That's it. I like dogs, love dogs, I like playing with dogs. <laughs> anyway, so if I could be any animal, uh -huh. what would I be? Yeah. <laughs> this is a good question. I haven't Thank really thought you. about this before. Um, don't play the Jeopardy music just yet. I think I'd be something that would fly because, I mean, animals have a tough life. Yeah. Um, in the wild, if you really think about it. I like to watch Planet Earth. I like yep. to watch this other show called The Hunt, which is of the same narrator. If it's not David Attenborough narrating, it's a trash documentary about nature because he is like the best. He's like, in the savannah. <laughs> you have to have that. Otherwise, it's just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd probably be like a eagle or something. Although mm -hmm. they have a tough life. Yeah. Especially the, the, the babies, like the, the young eagles. Yeah. Like they, they, have, they get fed for a little while and the parents will be gone for like days at a time and then after a while they just leave them they just abandon yeah, them yeah it's crazy then, so I guess it's flying I don't know it would be tough to be an animal I like being human yeah be a parrot so I you could can be still a dog sing. maybe like yeah if, if I could have anything as a pet I would have like a huge like black panther ooh that's a good one and just have him just chill with me yeah like no one would break into your house so I have no one fact. already does I have a Doberman that's true. But the panther so would, would definitely be scarier than Doberman. Yeah. Or is it? Imagine, imagine him being like this tall, like sitting down. Just like yeah. Yeah, just staring people down. That would be really cool. He just walked with me, and no one would ever talk. No one would ever be like, you can't have him. I'm like, oh, really? I can't? Tell that to him. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show. You're perfect, as always. I love interviewing you. It's so much fun. So speaking of like your Instagram highlights and everything like that, where can people follow you for this great content? Uh, all of my social media is the same. It's KelMoney24, K-E-L Money24. Uh, 24 is for uh, a player actually that my dad had at Winthrop. Um, his name was DeAndre Adams. And he died in a car accident in May of 2007. Um, there was a storm that rolled through Atlanta a tropical storm came through, and uh, he had just played midnight basketball, which is something they do in Atlanta to keep uh, young men off the streets. Oh, okay. So he was with his, his best friend, who's also on our team. He dropped him off, and he's on his way back home. He's coming over a hill, and there's a tree that had fallen in the road. So he swerves to miss it, and hits another tree, and uh, he gets in an accident, right? And it, it, his body is totally fine, not a scratch on him but he had really bad brain trauma. So uh, he was in a coma for like five, six days. And then in, in May, when my dad had already taken this job, he passed away. So that's why I used 24. Oh, that's very Not sweet of you. a damper on the last part. Yeah, no, but it's, it, people are learning stuff yeah. about you and I love that. That's yeah. very sweet. So yeah, thank you for coming on.
thank you everyone for watching. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Fanshell18, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Sports with Aaliyah Facebook page. And thank you to Action Jackson Production. <laughs> I can't ever say that. Okay. <laughs> you were doing so good. Thank you. Were you. There. And thank you to Action. Oh my gosh, why can't I say this? Do that. No, I don't want to oh, do this. Fine. Thank, thank you to Action Jackson okay. Productions. You did a great job. Okay, do it in, yeah. Thank you to X Injection Productions for all you've done for us today. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Wow, that, really that was great. Is that what? Good? Is that going to be on there? Do you want it to be? That's fine. Okay, yeah. Awesome.